good morning dear my students today we would like to discuss in continuation with our previous classes partially exempted allowance yesterday we have discussed the partially exempted allowance hra its meaning and how to calculate taxable hra today we would like to discuss entertainment allowance and some special allowances what is meant by entertainment allowance it is an allowance firstly included under the head salary and then it is deducted from the total income in the case of private employees it is fully taxable in the case of government employee least of the following is exempted from the tax which are the limits first one 5000 Second one, twenty percentage of salary or amount of entertainment allowance granted during the previous year. Basically, we can say that twenty percentage of salary or five thousand, or whichever is less, will be claimed as deduction. Clear. So this is the. Amount of taxable entertainment allowance. Clear. Three limits here: five thousand, twenty percent of basic salary, amount of entertainment allowance granted during the previous year. List of the amount is exempted, and the rest portion will be considered as a taxable portion of entertainment allowance. Then see some special allowances. special allowances for the there are two types of special allowances special allowances for the performance of duties of the office special allowance are to meet personal expense that is there are two kinds first one official nature second one personal nature see first one official nature that is means for the purpose of uh, performing the duties of office that means these types of special allowances are incurred to meet the expense for the performance of duties of an office so such allowances are exempted up to the expenditure actually spent by the employee it is very simple logic behind the calculation of taxable portion of these uh, allowances whatever amount we are spend for the performing for uh, for the performance of their duties considered as a exempted portion and the rest is taken as a taxable portion clear then uh, allowances which are the allowances some of the examples are given here traveling allowances conveyance allowances daily allowances academic research allowances helper allowances uniform allowances etc etc many many uh, items are shown in your textbook all of you please go through the textbook and uh, details of allowances which are as a which are coming under the category of this uh, special allowance for the performance of duties that can be shown in our uh, textbook please go through this first one traveling allowance this allowances is applicable to the uh, to supplement the cost of travel when employees are out on a tour or on the transfer of duties to another city it is accepted up to the actual expenditure incurred for employees okay then uh, next one conveyance allowance that means this is an allowance on the expense incurred for conveyance from the place of residence to the place of employment of office then uh, next one daily allowance it is an it is an allowance include uh, charges incurred on daily basis when on a tour then a uh, uh, next uh, uh, allowance that is academic research allowance it is also exempted up to actual expenditure incurred for research the next one uh, uniform allowance amount which is uh, offered for purchase of or maintenance of uniform for wearing during the employment the next uh, helper allowance it is exempted up to the actual expenditure incurred on engaging a helper where he is engaged for the performance of duties of any office 
these are all the this kind of uh, allowances then see uh, second category of special allowance that is for the purpose of personal expenditure that means it is an allowance granted to an employee to meet his personal expenditure at the place of his official duties will be exempt from the tax to the extent notified by the central government it is a very important uh, uh, point here all of you please note this sentence sentences exempt from the tax to the extent notified by the central government which are these kind of allowances special compensatory hilly area allowance or high altitude allowances border area allowances tribal area allowances un underground allowances special compensatory allowances high altitude area allowances etc etc many many uh, allowances are uh, it can be shown in our textbooks first one special compensatory hill area allowance it is exemption varies from rupees 300 to 7000 per month then uh, border area allowance exemption varies from 200 per month to 21300 per months details will be available in our uh, text book then uh, tribal area allowance exempted up to the actual amount received or 200 per month which ever is less it's all about uh, tribal area or scheduled area agency area allowances then uh, high altitude area allowances amount of exemption is a uh, uh, allowances is given to the member of armed forces for an altitude of 9000 feet to 15000 feet rupees 1060 per month and for an altitude above 15000 uh, feet rupees 1600 per month that is based on the altitude then uh, next uh, underground allowances it is an underground allowances granted to an employee who is working in, in uncongenial or unnatural climate in underground mines shall be exempted to the extent of uh, 800 per month then special compensatory field area allowances exempted up to 1000 uh, 4200 per month then uh, island allowances island allowances exempted uh, to the extent of rupees 3250 per month then compensatory field area allowances exempted to the extent of rupees 2600 per month compensatory modified field area allowances is exempted at, uh, to the extent of uh, 1000 per month then uh, customer insurance uh, insurgency allowances counter insurgency al al insurgency allowances that is extent of uh, 3900 per month then uh, children's education allowances it is uh, uh, exempted up to the actual amount received per child rupees 100 per child per month maximum up to two children whichever is less 100 per child per month maximum up to two children that is about uh, children education allowance the next uh, hostel uh, allowance is like a children allowance but the amount is different that is 300 per month per child maximum up to two children then allowances allowed to transport employees working in any transport system uh, calculation is uh, amount of exemption shall be 70 percentage of such allowances or 10000 per month which ever is less the next to transport allowance that means it is an allowance granted to an employee to meet his expenditure for the purpose of commuting between the place of his resident and the place of his duty it is fully taxable in the hands of salaried employees however such transport allowance granted to an employee who is blind or deaf and dumb or orthopedically handicapped with disability of lower extremities is uh, exempted to the extent of rupees 3200 per month that's all about the allowances uh, to meet the personal expenditure so this is called uh, uh, special allowances okay by these uh, words let us conclude today's class
okay then next day we will discuss fully exempted allowances thank you